deep breath of the fresh air. Let's let out a sigh of relief. I can see clearly now. The rain has come. Break out those rain jackets and grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte because fall is here. As is me, Drew Coleman, principal broker of the Drew Coleman team at Hassan Company Realtors. And I want you and you and you to make better real estate decisions. Let's break down the local market from September. First up, average sales price. A smaller than usual summertime increase here in September. Increasing 0.5% from $561,449 to $564,240. However, year-over-year -year prices are up quite a bit, 12.3%. That means if you bought a year ago for $500,000, it would have appreciated on average by $61,500. Holy cow. Looking at the current price on Amazon, you could buy 1,924 scarecrow costumes with that, just in time for Halloween. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Four condos and townhouses. The average rose quite a bit from $357,900 to $371,993. Are you looking at a house, condo, attached townhouse yourself? Don't go in blindly. Reach out to us. We are here to help you. Now, the big picture. Let's talk about national figures. So, in August, the preliminary data indicates, hmm, an average of $345,700 for existing homes. That's an increase. For new homes, we saw a decrease, dropping down to $369,000. New listings dropped even more, down by 13.9%. The number of homes sold went up by 2.4% for a total of 2,364 new due detached and 611 new attached listings. Okay, those are truly great numbers, folks. Even with the downtick in inventory coming online, things are still definitely selling. Let's look at September of last year. Then, in comparison, new listings are down 4.5% and homes sold are actually up 41.2%. Who would have thought in the midst of civil unrest, a pandemic, presidential election, and uh, murder hornets that we would have this going on? Nonetheless, facts are facts, folks. Locally, inventory stayed the same at 1.5 months of supply for detached homes. Nationally, it dropped to 3.3 months. Hmm, let's look at the local neighborhood markets. Now, those of you who are religious followers of this posting know that Milwaukee Clackamas is a tough champ to dethrone. Could it be Milwaukee Clackamas taking the crown again? Think again! Southeast Portland, more new listings there than anywhere else. They snatched the victory with a total of 248 new listings followed by, of course, Milwaukee Clackamas, and then West Portland with 235 and 230 properties, respectively. Hmm, for number of homes sold, yeah, you can't keep Milwaukee Clackamas down, folks. They had to win somewhere, 254 closings. What a finish! Yay! Okay, don't put the popcorn down yet. It's time for some bonus stats. On average, large U.S. metros have seen an increase of 3.9% in home prices compared to last summer. Portland has done more than that at 5%. Switching gears, let's talk about job growth. Not as good news here. Every U.S. major metro region has had fewer jobs this summer than last year makes sense. Unemployment in the Portland region was down by almost 8% compared to last August. By this metric, Portland is slightly more affected than the average large metro region. That makes sense with some of the things happening here. But things overall still good, and that is it for this month. So check back next time and visit click, 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 drewcoleman.com if you have any questions for our local team. Thank you for watching.